Yes, we're here, um, we're joined here, um, by everyone's favorite YouTuber, um, not being me, that, that would be being Hockey Stick, it's appeared in many YouTube videos, but anyways, enough of that, we, we need to talk, we need to address the, uh, obvious here. Look at this, look at this, this is the, le this legendary, we got the Ahigao. The anime girls, the anime bitches, on my Xbox. I I now have the best Xbox One S in the universe, galaxy, whatever you want to call it. You bow down to me. Lux, let's, let's look at some NBA cards. Um, I got these ones recently. Skybox, a personal favorite of mine. Skybox, everyone's favorite NBA card brand. Now. This one, this one, huh. this one's got a lot of story, this one. Now this guy, what, John Sun Sunvold, um, he's, he's probably one of, you know, mediocre, he averaged, mm, he averaged six points per game, that's, mm, that's okay for a point guard, slash shooting guard, for my man, Joe Sunvold for the Miami Heat. This was the classic Heat jersey that um, Tim Hardaway and Alonzo Mourning had. Um, anyways, I actually want to talk about my hockey cards. Um, first of all, we have Czech Republic goalie, Pavel Francois. Look at this. This is him in the European League. This is impressive. This is impressive that I have this. I actually got this. Um, I found this at a garage sale. I got it at a garage sale. And it was only t like two bucks. And then I looked up Pavel Francois, who's a goalie for the Avalanche. Colorado Avalanche. I looked it up on Amazon and literally one thing came up and it was like a card of his, him and his team in like 2011 or something in Europe, um, so yeah, yeah I, I think I got a steal there, that's why I got him in a case, um, here are some of my hockey cards, um, let's discuss them, how, how about that, uh, the first one I want to discuss here, um, one of my favorite, um, this is the father of, I, th I think, Darren, here's Darren Turcott. He was the rookie goal leader. He had, uh, what, how many goals did he have? 32 goals. Yeah, in his first season. That's pretty impressive for a rookie in his uh, rookie showing. Um, Darren Turcott. Um, yes, I th I'm 90% I'm sure his son is uh, NHL uh, 2019 draft uh, prospect projected to go in the top five, top ten-ish, uh, Alex Turcotte, so yeah, this is, uh, this is a nice card, New York Rangers, obviously, Turcotte will not end up on the Rangers, he will end up on a team like maybe the Avs, the Kings, the Red Wings, Sabres, something like that, because the Rangers have the second overall pick, they're obviously going to select Capo, Caco, Brian Bellows, just a legend, you know, one of the best Minnesota North Stars, Honestly, Minnesota North Star is one of the... I don't think they should have ever, ever moved, moved to Dallas. They're a decent team. Um, you know, like I said, like I said, this was one of the more offensive-oriented um, defensemen. Brian Bellows, 75 points. Um, he had 35 goals, which was kind of unseen by defensemen at the time. Even now, that's impressive. Uh, um, let's look for a good one. Yeah, Mike Gartner here. I don't really know what to say about him. Uh, it's just a solid uh, player for the Rangers, the Flyers, stuff like that. Um, just, oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, we're getting into the upper deck cards. Yeah, Marco Kiprasov. Now, Kiprasov, you, if you hear that name, you'll think of Calgary Flames goalie. Our former Calgary Flames goalie, Mika Kiprasov. Marco Kiprasov um, was a Finnish um, 
He's him in the world. He's a defenseman. The world's junior, world junior tournament. Uh, he's a, oh my god, they call them Finn lads. Finn lad, look at that. Oh, you can't, it's backwards, so. But they called him a Finn lad. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Finn lads instead of Finnish. Yeah, I, I'm from Finland. I'm a Finn lad. What do they call the women from Finla uh, Finland? Finlass? That, that's honestly better. Okay, here we go. Owen Nolan. Owen Nolan. Quebec Nordique. Owen Nolan. Also played for the Sharks and probably some other teams. Put down the hockey hockey cards. Owen Nolan here. Um, he was picked first overall, I believe, in um, 1990. Yep. Um, Nolan's first professional season included a six-game stint with Halifax, the Nordiques Farm Club in the AHL. In 89-90, Nolan scored 51 goals for Cornwall and was named OHL All-Star. So, uh, he didn't have one of the best, uh, seasons as his rookie showing. Good thing... I, I think he did play for the Avalanche, but he, I don't think he ever won a cup, though, because he's a, he's known as a shark. Um, so yeah, nice little card to have there. Why am I speaking like this? I'm sorry. Very rude of me. Um, <clears throat> and then we have these cards, which I really don't like, that just don't even have a name on them. Who is this? He played for the Nordiques, and it's not D Joe Sackick or Owen Nolan, so... I, I don't know who it is, or, you know, whatever. Uh, we've got some good, good players here, okay? Trust me. Um, I'm just try. it's just a matter of finding them. You know, if and when. I will find these really good players in my hockey, uh, got a Toronto jersey there. Um, here we go, we're getting back into the name section. Oh, John Slaney. I'd like to talk about him. John Slaney. <clears throat> he was picked first overall. <clears throat> I don't want to say he didn't turn out. He's just one of the more... Uh, mm. He was picked first overall. Sorry. The first round. Ninth overall. He's a good skater. That's really it. He, he, he could skate well. He he had he had 38 goals with Cornwall. Cornwall seems to be um, a good classic OHL team that people like to play for uh, in the 80s and 90s. You know, oh, if you play for Cornwall, you're surely getting picked in the top 10. You know, something like that. Uh, we got John Van Beesbrook, one of the most um, exhilarating last names. In all of hockey, John Van Beesbrook, goalie for the New York Rangers. Yeah. Wasn't that good. He averaged about three goals a game. Uh, you know, he gave in about three goals a game for my people who have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, I don't know what I'm doing with this channel at all. I was thinking, because I play hockey every day. I played it today, I played it yesterday, the day before. I played every day. Um, I play with my friends, and um, I was thinking of buying a GoPro, but we're poor. I'm poor, so that's the problem. Um, I could make, uh, I, I really want to, <laughs> uh, so anyways, yeah, I'm working on this uh, NBA card project, you know, separating them by team. Um, I'm putting them in the card slots, you know, but I just gotta find 30 binders. You know, I think I can find that at the Dollar Tree. It depends if they have the 30 binders. And you're like, why are you getting your binders from the Dollar Tree? You're poor. Yes, I am poor. But that's not the point. The point is I'm not gonna be using these. For s I'm gonna be looking in them every now and then. Where will I point put these? I was thinking down here. Like, down, down here. But imagine 30 binders. It, it won't work, okay? So, yeah, um, so, 
And I've also vowed each time I make a video, I have to send a shitty card out the window. And today, actually, no, I, I like him. I like Lil Will. I like him. Today, we are sending out. Nope, I'm sorry. We are not sending out David Robinson for the San Antonio Spurs. How about. Let's, how about we find someone who's not worthy at all? Tonight, we are sacrificing. Nope. Tonight, we are sacrificing. I'm not sacrificing Bernard King. I think that's the only uh, Washington Bullets. I honestly like that name better than the freaking Wizards, but they had to change it because you're like, Bullets, that's kind of racially, racially insensitive. Not Carl Malone. Nope. How about this? How about we send a... Uh, we can't send a hockey card out. No, I'm too slim on those. Manute Bull, Larry Purge. Let's send out Manute Bull! No, that is so stupid. What the hell am I thinking? Oh, perfect. There's a bunch of shitty cards here. Oh, they're hockey cards. Look at this. It's a Nordique. Um, another Nordique. Um, oh, here we go. I found someone. Oh, the guy under him. Yes! Mr. Purvis Ellison. One of the coolest names is being sacrificed to the NBA gods. Thank you for your service, Mr. Purvis.